welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be turning this old dresser into this. And so first let me show you all the products that you'll be needing. Some unsanded grout, furniture paint, some wood glue, these little handles. They're just white and you can buy whatever kind of handles you want. I got some knob ones and I got some ones like this. You'll also be needing a sander, um, but maybe you already have a sander at home. I didn't have to buy it because I already have one, or you can maybe borrow one from a family member. The last thing that you'll be needing is some mirrors. I got three of them, and I got these at Walmart for $5.88 each. Okay, the first step that we're gonna take is we're gonna begin taking off this ugly, sticky paper. So guys, I am the... He's my assistant. This is my jam right here. Alright guys, so we've taken off my ugly paper. I'm gonna take all the drawers out and we're gonna take the knobs off of each one. Your dresser might be different, but this one we're just gonna twist and take them off and I'm gonna do the same on this one. And then we're gonna keep doing the same exact thing. It's nothing too complicated. Look at this. This is how old it is. They just come up like that. All right, now the, that the drawers are taken off and we've got the knobs taken off, now on to the sanding part. Kamala, don't put all your weight on it. What? No, no, hace nada, si no, mira. All right, so we're done sanding the majority of the dresser. Now I'm gonna go in and start sanding the front. We're gonna paint it and put glass over it, but I figured we might as well sand it so the glass and everything sticks on fine. <laughs> we are all done sanding. And now that we're all done sanding, we're gonna move to the next part. Um, we'll start painting and then we'll update you on the next step. All right, this is the door mirror that we got from Walmart. But anyway, just grab the frame and just don't be afraid to just bend it back and it just comes off easily. So now to the side, so just bend it and it just comes off really easy. At least for this one it does, I'm not sure for any other frame. Um, one way to break it in pieces is just to drop it. Bam, bam, bam. We're sure there's a better technique than this, but this is what we're going with. Okay, one more time. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Okay, let me drop it this way. Uh, that one broke for sure. Turn it around. Alright, now we have a few pieces. Now if you drop it on the side, back. There we go. Show me how you're breaking it off. This piece is a little bit bigger, so let's just break it a little bit more. We're gonna have a million years of bad luck. I don't believe that's any of your crap. You get the point. You keep doing this until you have enough glass in your little box. Once you have all your glass broken, the next step is to start gluing them. And here I was gluing in whatever way I wanted. The only thing that I recommend to you is to be very careful when doing this because you can get cut. Um, we didn't get this on camera, but we mixed the grout together and the grout just has to be a Play-Doh pudding consistency. Then we put it all over and we let it dry overnight. So now that we let it dry overnight, we are going to clean off the excess. And the purpose of um, putting the grout on the dresser is for it to fill all the little holes, but I think we put too much grout on it. So let's see how taking the excess grout off the glass goes. I have a rag and some water, and I'm gonna go and try to clean it. Uh oh. We put way too much grout on it. Don't put so much grout on it. Um, okay, big mistake. We put way too much grout on. We just figured it would come off easy because in the other videos I watched it came off easy. But 
They were tricking us. Make sure that your ground just fills the holes in between or else you're gonna have a hard time cleaning it off. Oh my God. We're finally done with our project. 